To all my viewers out there, this is a video to show you how I cook yabbies. Now, you can either fill the pot full of water or just enough, depending on how much yabbies you have. Get it boiling, and as you're getting it boiled, you just put a lot of salt in there, and you wait for the water to come to a boil. Now, you might be wondering what's in this bowl. Well, it's the yabbies. And what I did last night, I made a nice slurry and I put the yabbies in there to knock them out. And the interesting fact about yabbies is, is that once they're in cold water, they go through a hibernation mode. It knocks them out and that's what you do with crabs um, as well. So when you catch crabs, if you want to boil them, you first have to put them in a nice slurry. But in this case, I put them in the fridge and that knocks them out. And once the water starts to boil, um, pouring these guys in there, they won't even feel the pain. Um, they'll die instantaneously before even realizing that they're in a hot pot. So um, make sure that you put them in. I prefer to make a nice slurry and then putting them in the fridge um, 24 hours before you decide to cook them. And um, yeah, that's, that's what you do before you start cooking the abbeys. Now my recipe is simple, I've got salt, I've got some hot spicy cream peppers and some garlic and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to first boil the yabbies, then I'm going to peel them and then I'm going to lightly simmer them on the frying pan with olive oil with these ingredients here and that's pretty much all you need. Um, another thing with yabbies as well, they're great with stir fry so you can mix them with uh, noodles or rice. But this way, I'm just going to simmer them in, um, in in this in these ingredients, and have them on the side with flounder. Okay, so I got my spicy hot cream pepper sauce in there. I've got garlic, a bit of soy sauce, and olive oil, and I just mix it together till I get a nice consistency. Spread the flavour around, and that's what I'm going to use to simmer my yabby meat in the frying pan. Okay, so I got the yabbies out of the cold bowl that was in the fridge, and they're ready to be put in the hot pot. Now I'll cook the yabbies for a maximum of five minutes, and after that I'll drain, and then I'll put them in cold iced slurry, so they don't keep cooking whilst they're hot. And they instantly die. They don't feel this at all. The yabbies have boiled well in the pot. Now to drain them and put them in the ice slurry. Now we let the yabbies sit in the ice slurry for a few minutes before we start peeling them and taking the flesh out. Now that I've peeled the yabbies, I'm going to now cook it on the pan with the ingredients I've shown earlier on. Hopefully my wife likes it. And there we have it, finished cooked yabby. On the side with some flounder. <laughs>